The shearing's all finished and the nights are drawing in. It's time we bought some tops. <laughs> Good morning sheep fans, Cammy's the name, sheep's the game, we're here today at Craig Wilson Limited. It's the top sale today, September, first top sale at Ayr. We're here, we're going to be trying to get one or two traditional blues, maybe a couple of texels, shearlings or lambs, I'm not too fussed just to boost the numbers. Because I'm putting teasers out, I like to put plenty of rams out to ratio of views, so maybe 1 to 30 is ideal, I think, if you're putting the teaser out. So we're in, we're going to try and pick up what we can get, we're going to have a look. Obviously with Covid regulations it's all going to be distancing and wearing the mask so if I have to speak with the mask on what I'll do is I'll do some subtitles so you can hear. I'll try and put it down just to do little bits for the camera, keeping everyone's safety in mind. Morning. 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 We're good, 6.7. Thanks very much, yeah. cheers. No worries. Try and get a hold of this boy here. Yeah, look at him. He's a bit big for me. So I say we're in the shinning pen here. One of the things we're looking for with these sheep, we'll have a look at the teeth. So when you're looking at the sheep's teeth, the teeth should just be flush with the pad. They shouldn't be coming beyond that. And when you rub your finger across the front, you shouldn't feel the sharp edge of the top of the teeth. It should be nice and smooth. So that's a good mouth in that sheep. Perfect for essential for grazing because if you don't do that and it's overshot, the teeth will go too long, they'll get loose, they'll fall out. If it's undershot, it might struggle to graze properly. Another big thing is if you feel down the, the side of the mouth there, you'd feel if there's any abnormalities with the molars or any issues in the jaw there. All good. That's a pretty good specimen. Obviously, I wouldn't have chose a bad one to show you. We chose a good one here. But they're all good, they're all good. Generally, the farmer will do this before it even comes to the sale. So you're going to have, generally speaking, your sheep are going to be good in the pens when they come to sale. Looking down the sheep, you're also feeling Muscle density, pay attention to the back, the loins, the jiggets, muscle in here. For your blues, it's not such a big deal as it is if you're now buying texels for producing fat lambs, these are used for producing breeding sheep, but it's still something you want to consider. You've also got to have a look at the testicles. So, obviously, that will be a wee bit irritating for this boy. Have a feel. You can feel there's no abnormalities here. I know that Fraser and James, when they have them here, if there's any abnormalities in the test room. Set up at this sale, they have two rings, a non-accredited and an accredited ring. Accredited basically is to do with the MV status, which is something that certain flocks will be tested for and that either makes them accredited or non-accredited. So this is actually a non-accredited ring, this starts 45 minutes after the other ring. And what happens is the sheep come through here, into this holding pen, so, and then they'll go through these gates here, into the sale ring. So this is a sale ring, obviously pre-sale, there's no one here just now. It's quite nice coming in before, nice and quiet. It's going to be absolutely buzzing in the next 45 minutes. There'll be people sitting round about, socially distanced, and the sheep will be running around down here with the seller in the ring also. We're going to see some footage of that. But I thought it'd be nice just to see the process of how the sheep come through. Then once or so, this gate gets open, go out there and back into their pens. So these are the crossing type blues, haws types as they would be called. These are predominantly used for either breeding through pure for pedigree blues or for putting over black face shoes. 
and the reason people like them over the blackface shoes is they produce a mule lamb with a really nice dark face because as I said they have this broken dark colours on their face here which you think a blue faced Leicester kind of deviates a bit from the, the reason the sheep was given such a name but these have become massive over the last 5 to 10 years and most of your boys producing mule lambs will be using these in fact all could be wrong here just about all of the boys that are producing Scotch mule North of England mule lambs will be using these crossing type blues so forgot to switch the microphone on here but what I said was we're at the ring let's try and buy some tops <laughs> This is the three traditional blues that they bought. And I tried to explain earlier. Traditional blues, that's when the face is this blue colour. It's like a blue grey colour. And you see when they dress them, you shave the side of their neck there, it brings up the blue a lot brighter and pre presents them in their best form. So we've got these three tucks here. We've paid. <laughs> that would have been good for the camera. That one that just sort of got me there, we paid 280 for him. We paid 150 for him. I know what you're thinking, how is he half the price? He's not really, it's just who's bidding at the time. And we paid something else for him, but 220 for this guy here. I've got to keep my eyes in the back of my heat here in case I get an absolute doing, because they just uh, had a run at me there. Now these boys, with these pups here, these boys don't know each other, so the good thing is these two are from the same pen, and this boy's from a different lot. And one thing when you're buying new rams, especially coming to this time of year, you have to be careful putting them in a pen together, because they'll want to fight. And that's when you get accidents and tups can get killed. So if you're buying tups, just be careful of that. I have one I love to get though. Wait till you see this boy. This is the other boy I bought from Michael Logan. He's a blue faced Leicester cross Texel. So that'll be a Texel mother and a blue faced Leicester father, I would think. No, wait. I'm not sure. I'll put it in the bottom, I need to ask him. So it's kind of that Aberfield kind of way about him, it's that kind of hybrid cross that we've got so he'll be brog and over my achievements as well, I think. I have Shetlands, he might go to the Shetlands, undecided, but 
He was very reasonably priced, 200 quid, and it's a good addition to my top. So what happens at the end of the sale, you'll see everyone moving around here, getting their rams. Market staff will always help you, but farmers all help each other, it's quite good. So you see Neil helping the boys here sort out their tops. You go around, you get the number for your tops, as per the, what's on its neck, and you really, you allocate yourself a pen if you bought a few tops. So Neil there, he's got quite a few tops there, he's got eight or nine tops that he's gathered up from around the market and he's put into his one pen. And once he's got them all gathered up, he'll take them to his trailer and load them up. Me here, I've just got these three so far, I've got one more to go and get. I've stuck them in this pen, ready to get taken to the trailer once I get a space in the loading bay. Loaded up here at air, three blues and my blue texel for Michael. We're gonna get him up the road, get him out of the trailer, get a look at him, and we're gonna worry about getting some texels on holiday. Some game, it was quite a wee buzz coming to the sale, you know. It's always good coming to air because I know so many of the boys, it's always good crack. A good, I'd say it was a successful day, didn't spend too much money, which is always how I judge these things. Tight. I'm not saying it's the right way to do things. But I'm happy with the quality of tops I've got for the money. I think I've got a good deal there. So that is the blues bought. That's the Chevy, it's sorted. I won't need any more for them. The Texel blue face here might go towards the Shetlands. And I have... I'm laughing. I've got two Clin Cross Romneys coming from Big Sean for Orkney. So he gave me them at mates rates, so they'll be ideal for going across the Shetlands as well. Because let's be honest, any lamb out of Shetlands a profit, that is a beautiful thing about that sheep. Now, I just need to get some extra texels. I think I'm gonna need another three or four texels to be stocked up. But we've got two for Logie Dunlow coming to start with. Let's get a look at them. So here we are, low lighting. It's dusk, we would say, on a fine September evening. Two boys just got dropped off from the Logie Durno team up in Aberdeen. They're not by any means their um, top selection. I just text the boys and says, listen, in some Texels, what have you got left for me? And they're saying there's in there, kind of split. You see it's lugs down a wee bit there. Got in a fight and it split its head. So it just wasn't suitable for sale. And another boy there. The boys will do my job fine. I'm actually still gonna need another three texels, I think. Just extra yows this year. I'm needing extra tops, so I think I'll need to source another three. But you might see that in due course, you might not. That's probably the end of this vlog. It's been long enough, I think. We'll get the boys out to the grass for the night and we'll finish up. Thanks for watching as always, guys. Hope you've clicked the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up. Leave a wee comment, let me know what you think of the tops we've got in this video. And just anything in general that I've been saying throughout the video. Love to hear the feedback. As always, thanks for watching.